Hello everyone, let's start with chapter number 4 that is materials, metals and non-metals. So I would be doing some MCQs here. So let's start with question number 1. So it says which of the following is not a metal. So in question it says it is not a metal. So we know that copper is a metal. Sulfur is not a metal. It is a gas. It is it is considered to be as non-metal. So B is non-metal that is sulfur. C. Aluminium is metal. D. Iron is metal. Now moving on. Question number 2. It says the substance that will be flattened on beating with a hammer is. So crystal of iodine, lump of sulfur, piece of coal, zinc granules. So on beating with a hammer, zinc granules that is metal will get flattened and hence uh, possess the property of malleability. Malleability is that material which can be beaten into thin sheets. So it is for the properties of metal. So we have zinc granule. Question number 3 says Bujo has learnt that non-metals on beating with hammer are generally broken into pieces. Which of the following is a non-metal? So we have iron nail. Iron nail is metal. Aluminium wire is metal. Then we have copper plate. Again a metal. Piece of coal. So piece of coal we know contains carbon in it which in turn is a non-metal. So therefore it will get broken into pieces and we consider them as brittle as well. Now moving on to question number 4. It says materials which can be drawn into wires are called ductile. Which of the following is not a ductile material? So it is C that is sulfur. Sulfur we know is a non-metal so therefore it is not a ductile material and as you can see A is metal, B is metal, D is metal. So they all possess the property of ductile material. Now question number 5 says metals are generally hard which of the following metal is an exception and can be cut with the knife. So we have iron, iron is hard and quite solid in structure. Gold is solid. Magnesium is solid. So the leftover is sodium. That is very very soft and can be cut with the help of knife. Now question number 6 says metals are generally solid. Which of the following metals is in the liquid state at room temperature? So we know that we use thermometer and in it we have metal name as mercury and it is liquid at room temperature so the right option is mercury now question number seven it says metals are generally solid sorry metals generally react with dilute acids to produce hydrogen gas which one of the following metals does not react with dilute hydrochloric acid so we have metal here and it says react with dilute acid to form hydrogen gas now we need to find out uh, the metal which does not react with HCl. So we have magnesium. Magnesium has good uh, reactive property and again aluminium again is quite reactive. Iron again is quite reactive but copper is least reactive out of these four. So it won't react with HCl. Now moving on to question number 8. It says which of the following reacts with cold water vigorously. So it is only one that is sodium. Sodium reacts with cold water very vigorously to form sodium hydroxide and H2 that is hydrogen gas. Now moving on to question number 9. It says the metal which produces hydrogen gas on reaction with dilute hydrochloric acid as well as sodium hydroxide solution is. So we have to find which metal will uh, produce hydrogen gas on reaction with HCl as well as with sodium hydroxide. So there is only one metal that reacts with acid as well as base that is aluminium. Copper doesn't react with sodium hydroxide, iron doesn't react with sodium hydroxide. Then we have sodium, sodium again does not react with sodium hydroxide, basically base. Now question number 10 says which of the following non-metals react and catches fire on exposure to air. So is it phosphorus, nitrogen, sulfur, hydrogen. 
so we have only one that is phosphorus phosphorus is very reactive and catches fire if exposed to air so therefore if we need to protect them from catching fire we need to store in water so that they disconnects disconnects with atmospheric oxygen so the one is phosphorus now question number 11 says generally metallic oxides are basic and non metallic oxides are acidic in nature solution of which of the following oxides in water will change the color of blue litmus to red so it will be sulfur dioxide as sulfur dioxide is a non metal and as we know that non metallic oxides are acidic so therefore the answer to this is sulfur dioxide and the color will change from blue litmus to red as in acid to sorry as in acid that is blue litmus to red litmus now question number 12 that is the last one so it says which of the following property is not responsible for copper to be used as electrical conduction wires so the first one is given ductility 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 is used as property for electrical conduction wires so it is important to be the uh, important that metal to be ductile or copper to be ductile color never matters in this case color plays no role in this to be helpful in conduct as a conducting wire so color is the right option for question number 12 so that's all for chapter number 4 thank you for watching this video